What's up y'all, it's Precise here and I'm here to tell you how the Lakers can turn their season around. Now every good team starts off with a good coach and a competent assistant staff. Currently the Lakers have Luke Walton who's been a coach for I believe three years now. And I think he's a good coach, I don't know if he's the best coach for the Lakers, but I like him as a person and as a maybe assistant coach at this time. The main problem with Luke Walton is his lineups and his changes to the lineup. For example, the first game of the season, we had a starting lineup of Ray John Rondo, KCP, Brandon Ingram at small four, power forward LeBron James, and JaVale McGee at the center position. Now, everyone knew this was the lineup day one. Some people were skeptical that, you know, Rondo shouldn't start and Lonzo should start since he's the future of the Lakers, and KCP shouldn't start and Josh Hart should start because he's a future piece of the Lakers as well. Now, some people wanted Kuzma to start, but I wanted Kuzma to come off the bench to have that firepower off the bench. And with LeBron in there and Ingram in there, that means Ingram can take the better small forward responsibility on defense because Ingram is our, with Lonzo, our best perimeter defender. And now, according to last game, our lineup consists of Lonzo at point guard, shooting guard is Brandon Ingram. It was Josh Hart when he was suspended, when Ingram was suspended, now it's Brandon Ingram. Small forward is LeBron James at his natural position and Kyle Kuzma at power forward at his natural position in college and his rookie year kinda. And JaVale McGee obviously at center. Now personally, I like this starting lineup. It's just our bench is a little too thin with Rondo, Lance, uh, Sfi, you know, coming off the bench and you know, something may go wrong with those three out there. And then we have obviously Tyson Chandler in the lineup. Now, the reasons all these lineups kind of, you know, hinder our success is it produces inconsistency. Now, on defense, coverages are different for different positions. Like a center coverages for defense is different from a power forward. Many people don't know that. And a point guard is different for a shooting guard just based off the team's, you know, sets they run and what they're trying to do. Even on offense, you know, if Brandon Ingram's at small forward, he might be in the corner. But if he's in the shooting guard position, he might be on the wing. And it's a different point of attack from each position. Same with Kyle Kuzma. I think LeBron is the only person who has his job like locked down because he's LeBron James and McGee because he's the center. So many people are mad, especially at Brandon Ingram because he hasn't taken that jump that people expected, even though it's only 10 games in the season. Well, they're changing his position. He ran point guard a little bit last year. He's running shooting guard now with LeBron, Kyle Kuzma in the lineup. He never really ran with Kyle Kuzma in the starting lineup before. And he's not as small for his next position. He played for three years. And also, it's way too much talent on this team to not stagger those lineups and not stagger certain players. Example one is have Ingram come out in the first quarter and have him run with the second unit because the second unit doesn't have that score off the bench because we're missing that from Kyle Kuzma. Luke Wall likes to run his lineups like 2K lineups in my team if you ever play. He plays the first five for the first quarter and plays the second string for the second quarter or half the second quarter those are like hockey lineups where a whole five come out and the next five come in you really don't see that in nba as often because you want to keep your best player and best players on the court often as possible and he did this when he was assistant coach at golden state because golden state had the manpower and the great bench to do that he staggers lebron but it's not you know rocket science to stagger the greatest player in the world right now LeBron still plays high as minutes, but I think he needs to stagger Brandon Ingram because Brandon Ingram is also good with the ball in his hands, and LeBron James has the ball in his hands all the time with the first unit. And he actually did this one time in the Timberwolves game. I think he scored like 10 or 12 points off like 6 of 7 shooting when LeBron was out and off the court. Another thing pertaining to the coaching staff is we have to run offensive sets. We're very good when LeBron is controlling the ball and we're running the transition because we have the highest pace in the league. We lead the NBA in points in the paint. But one of the reasons why we choke down the stretch is because we, when the game is slowed down, we don't know how to run those offensive sets like a comp to NBA team. That was the main reason why KCP can't get good looks and people say he's trash right now. He's not really trash. He's just not getting plays ran for him because KCP is a half-court offense player. Last year when KCP was starting, KCP at least got a lot of plays ran for him. You know, off screens and hitting threes, hitting mid-ranges and just creating off the play they ran for him. This year, I think he gets one play ran from a game and then when he misses a shot, he's not he's not coming back in or he's not getting another play ran for him. And that could lead to bad defense because of the effort of not getting the ball in your hands and all that. Luke Walton said he wants to be a top 10 defensive team in the NBA. 
And I think we can because we were 12 last year and we have better defenders this year on paper. That's the key word on paper. But our only consistent defenders that I trust is Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, and JaVale McGee. Even LeBron James, he's losing his man a lot. Ray John Rondo, he's too small. Kyle Kuzma has effort, but his technique is kind of bad. Same with Josh Hart, even though the thing is Josh Hart is a great defender, but he's not really that good as people think he is. He just gives a lot of effort, such as KCP also. And that's where the disconnect continues. That'll be all for this video. Make sure you like if you like the video. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. Make sure you comment anything else the Lakers can improve on. I'm out. Peace.